In this homework, you're going to be working with maps. In the first question that you have, you'll create a map of Cambridge, and you'll center it on the MIT campus. Take a look at the video, and it'll walk you through the basics. We will be using Mapbox, as you will see once you take a look at the code. The second question is to create a map marker for MIT. You've no doubt seen the markers that appear over maps such as Google Maps, and in this case, we're going to be working with map, map box, and we want you to put a marker on top of the map. Center it above Lobby 7, the Mass Ave entrance, and you can see the video there for a guide on how to do that. The third question will be to animate, animate your markers. That is, given a set of latitudes and longitudes, how can you animate the movement of this marker? Once again, take a look at the video for instructions on how to do it. The fourth one, and really the core of the homework, is to create a bus tracker. In this case, we're going to create a bus tracker for Route 1. You will see more details on the video as to how to sign up for the developer, how to access this information, and how to do it in real time. That is, you will be continuously polling and getting updated information as the buses move about in the city, and you need to be updating your map in real time so the movement can be shown in the user interface. Now, once you are done with all of that, and if you want to compare to a quick solution that I did, you can take a look at question five. There you will see an accelerated movement of the buses because as you will see I'm only doing it every 15 seconds so I've sped up the timeline so you can see a more fluid movement of the buses. So with that in mind go ahead and dive in. This is a good one to exercise your work with data to do real-time updates to really uh, do in IoT applications although in this case the things from Internet of Things are big buses moving about in the city.